Alrighty, so chatting here with Senator Matt Canavan for Queensland. Matt, why are you running? What motivates you to stay in politics? Mate, uh, I think we've got a great state with enormous opportunities uh, and we just don't sometimes take them as much because there are a lot of people in this country, a loud minority of loud Australians who want to tell us what to do, who uh, want to stop us from building dams or, or mines uh, and factories around the country. We're living in very uncertain times and right now the priority for the nation must be to put our country first, invest back in our nation to grow our agricultural sector, grow our mining sector, some great jobs and of course boost our defence spending and national resilience. So I'm running again because I think I've got a record of delivering things like the Rookwood Weir, uh, like the Adani Carmichael mine and I want to do a lot more around this great state uh, so I hope I can be re-elected as a Queensland Senator to continue that effort. Now you talk a lot about rural issues but you're actually a Logan boy, yeah, is that right. correct? What, what's your story no, growing so up in yeah, Logan? I grew up where well, I first grew up in Trinity Crescent uh, here in Slacks Creek and went to St Edward's just down the road later on going to uh, Chisholm Catholic College, so I've got a great affinity uh, for Logan. Yes, I, I did end up moving away. I found my way to Toowoomba during my career, and uh, when I was elected, there was already a senator there, so I moved up with my family to, to Rockhampton, and we live in Cocoon now. And uh, look, I just think we've got a great state, and we need senators spread all around it. But Logan remains very close to my heart. Uh, this is a, an area where people want to get ahead. I was very lucky that my parents uh, invested in my education and, and helped me get where I am. And I know so many Logan families want the same for their children. And I just don't think the Labor Party is really on side with the aspirational working class this nation, the, back, the bedrock of our country. Uh, the Labor Party often denigrates working class values, uh, is off with the left talking about you know, transgender issues in sport, uh, not focused on the real concerns of families balancing their budgets, trying to save up for a home, as I said, trying to give their kids a good education. Now, you talked a lot about uh, rears, uh, weirs and dams, rather. Um, what, what are issues uh, that you think would motivate Logan voters to vote for you? Why should people in Logan vote for Matt Canavan? Well, as I said, I, I believe that we are the party, Liberal National Party, and that I'm a part of. Uh, that values the hard work and sacrifice of the small businesses and workers in this region. Uh, I believe that uh, the prospects of families in the Logan area will be better uh, if taxes are lower, if regulations are out of the way, and you don't have governments telling you what to do. Uh, and yes, even the investment, investments through regional Queensland will help create opportunities here in South East Queensland because so much of our rural produce ends up going out and exported through Brisbane and that creates a lot of uh, jobs and opportunity here. So I just don't think that you know, the Labor Party and, and Jim Chalmers here in Logan, he's, he's off focused on, on, on other issues. They're off talking about climate change uh, uh, or gender identity. Uh, they're not really focused on these bread and butter issues. I think the biggest economic issue facing this country is inflation, the cost of living. That's why it's getting very, very hard uh, for families. And uh, what we don't need now is a Labor government that wastes lots of your money, uh, which would only push up inflation. The more the government spends in Canberra, the higher your grocery bills will be. And I think we need right now a Liberal National Party to manage your government's debt, to get our spending under control, so inflation doesn't get to 8 9% like it is overseas. Yeah. How does it feel being back in Springwood, back in Logan? Mate, it's, always, it's great here because I drive around and see the areas that, uh, you know, that uh, I grew up around. It's a bit different now. Springwood Mall is uh, a lot, lot smaller and looked a lot more 80s uh, uh, than it does uh, today. Uh, uh, and you just the other thing you notice when you come back here is how thriving and how much growth has been. Uh, this is becoming, and Springwood, you see, it's got high rises now. Never had that when I was a kid. Um, you can see here that this is becoming its own independent city in a way. And I think that's something else. I'm not from here, and I focus on CQ, of course, but but uh, I do think uh, this area is becoming like uh, satellite cities like Parramatta, like Geelong in, in, in other states, where economic growth uh, is driven from Logan, people work in Logan, people commute to Logan, and not have to go all the way up that Pacific Highway and stay in traffic all the morning. Matt, thanks you very much for your time. No worries, mate. Have a good one.